data, yes data. <laughs> no data, yes Life data. Life forms. <laughs> Life forms. I might need to turn the game down a little bit. Which way is it? Okay. I'll well, take a look, see. Hello, game. How's it going? What's up? Game. Yeah, that's probably fine, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's also a bit more even on the on the audio channels. Uh-huh. I don't know why the game affects it. Anyways, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Ryan is doing some stretches. We gotta go save Melly. Melia, let's go. Melia, Melia. We got quite the... I'm glad that we're at least playing this game today. Of your games, because uh, that was a cliffhanger. <laughs> Last time. Well, I mean, because of future visions, putting this game off always causes problems. So I'm just like, from now on, this game does not go on hiatus. Mm -hmm. Because it always... Like, any other game, I can just pick back up and just be like, okay, we're just picking the game back... But for this game, it's like, oh no, if I want to pick this back up, i got to do two... We're like starting a, more than an hour and a half <laughs> earlier than we usually do, so... Uh, I still have basically the entire recording day to, to myself. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. I'm trying to go up the escalator. Whee! You know... Uh, af after after playing a little bit of FF7 remake, the just the demo, I now once again want somebody to recreate the FF7 box art of of you know the the whole looking up at something, but using Shulk in place of Cloud, the Monado in place of the Buster Sword, <laughs> and the Makanis in place of the Shinra building. Mm -hmm. If I had the money, I'd commission you to draw that. <laughs> I never got around to drawing the, uh... My Hero Academia Napon. Yeah. My Napondamia. <laughs> By the way, I actually have side quests that take place in the... In the Hyantia tomb. <laughs> so we'll be getting some side questing done while trying to save Melia. I'm just imagining the scene in My Hero Academia where, um, where All Might's fighting the Nomu, like in the very beginning of the story, and uh, but just replace All Might with Ricky. <laughs> it's like. Wow, he's the best hero ever! Hereupon, very cool! <laughs> oh, wow, you are, you are really spiking that mic when you get excite. Excite, Mike. Excite, excite, bike. Okay, you will stay on that skill tree until you master it, young lady! <laughs> That's another reason to go save Melia, so she can get back in our party. Yeah. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained. And my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger befall Her Highness. Not much use as a seer, then, are you? <laughs> Nothing passes you by, does it? 
Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world. Ether. Control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shuk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The rain really adds to the atmosphere of this scene. Yeah. Even though that's completely random. <laughs> yeah. Especially the lightning with all that... Meanwhile... The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. By the way, you notice how the subtitles are done only during those particular types of scenes where it has the character's name, then an underline, and then and then the subtitle. Mm hmm That's so how FF7 Remake does its subtitles, but mm. for everything. Oh, wow. Tomb Approach. Melly is all alone. There's no one here beside her. <laughs> Melly is on her own. Ooh, I got some in Koopy. That'll let me just instantly summon another copy of whatever I last assumed. Actually, there's no one to give a gift of healing to around here. Hmm. So just put that one. Two thousand five hundred and twelve cycles since last visitor. State your name and purpose. Melia Antiqua. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. So I'm feel like we're in a different game. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile... It's so cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited... Well, what does this do? Don't touch! Oh. Uh. Huh? Good job, Ryan. Hi, into your tomb. Damage enemies by firing elements. Melia is alone in the tomb. It might be best for her to fire elementals after summoning them to deal damage rather than using them to grant herself buffs. However, while taking on multiple enemies at once, try inflicting sleep on some to make it easier to fight the others. Take care not to awaken sleeping monsters with arts like Summon Flare. Oh, 
Oh, an item I needed for a quest. <laughs> Spiral lamp. Uh, so yeah, when I take over a Shulk and friends, they won't have access to bridges like this. Hmm. Also, they'll be down there and have to climb up. Wow. Summon Aqua! Summon Bolt! Star searing flames of absolution! Manifest yourself! I feel the ether. Building within me. That's called Bolt! Why is it playing boss music? Yeah, boss music for, uh... And us! <laughs> Nero and us. <laughs> Nero, Nero and, and us? Nero and us. No, I'm just imagining... Andros dressed as Nero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Green earwig, earwig. Hall of Trials. It's the Hall of Trials. Okay. <laughs> I can't view a heart to heart when I'm alone. What? <laughs> How dare you? Well, Melia. Yes, Melia. We've really come a long way, haven't we, Melia? Yes, we have, Melia. Yes! Kablaminate! Aha! Your burst has ended! Boom, you're dead now, yeah. You're a chest. Like the rest. <laughs> I don't know what's so dangerous about the trial of the tomb. It seems alright so far. You know, unless, like, an assassin would just come by and try to kill her and then be like, oh, look, it, it was the trial of the tomb, yeah, totally. of Antiqua. Think of me as a recreation of said ancestor, possessing his thoughts and speech. But he passed away thousands of years ago. Do not mistake me for a living being. I am a replica of your ancestor. I am merely a projection of what he would be if you were to meet him now. I do not understand. But... I do not suspect any falsehood in your words. It is beyond doubt. If I could feel, I would feel joy. I am not real, but I do not lie. Joy? What do you mean? The results of the gene analysis show Hong's gene integration of 80%. Estimates suggest evolution within eight generations. Our wishes are almost fulfilled. Our purpose, as decreed by the Bionis, is linked to our genetic sequence. We have spent millennia analyzing sequences to free ourselves from the curse. Only a certain gene set will unlock the mechanism and set us free. Mysterious. 
still do not understand. It is of no consequence. I grant you this seal. You get the high anti a seal of approval. Is this? It is you who will rule the high Antia, and likely be their last. Revered ancestor, I. Go forth and rule, my descendant. <laughs> so the spirits look favorably upon you. <gasps> Explain yourself. Only Imperials are permitted to enter this place. I am the subject of Her Highness the First Consort. I need no permission. Mother's subject? No impure child of the Second Consort has the right to refer to the First Consort as Mother. I... I... A filthy Homs half-breed has no right to the throne. That ain't for you to decide, lady. Meanwhile... Thanks, Ryan. Good job. <sighs> Who puts a great big hole somewhere like that? As I explained, it's a defense mechanism. What a mess, Ryan. Good job, buddy. Friend not clever touching button. <laughs> <sighs> I'm with these guys, Ryan. I'm with Ricky. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? What about your visions, eh? You think the two of you could come up with something? <laughs> you know it doesn't work like that. It would have been useful, yes. <laughs> Pair of fortune-telling frauds. You got us into this mess. And it's not the first time either. Hmm, Ricky, agree with Shulk. Why is it my fault all of a sudden? You press the button, right? This time it is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> well, um, be thankful that we are all alive. I suggest greater care next time. Our journey will be longer, but we can still make our way deeper into the tomb. Okay. We can't waste another second. Melia needs us. What does this button do? Damn it, Ryan! But. But Ryan time! It's not Ryan time, Ryan! <laughs> it's Melia time! Tomb robber pull? <laughs> Tomb robber! We've collected the five green diodes. Let's get them to. Naroth for the deciphering machine. Oh my gosh. You're having like side quest visions down here. <laughs> oh, Ryan, I know we have to go and help Melly and all, but. Side quests. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling it. So this is what teamwork is. Now it's right time. Not long now. Bring it on! Freeze me! You never stood a chance. Everyone do good! Who else wants some? Who else wants some? Cause everyone do good. Who else wants some? I'm gonna beat you good. Ha! We can <laughs> definitely do this! No, 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 no. no. Behave! Boom! Ha! Attack! You know, it show like moved forward when doing split edge it could almost be like a stinger yeah I, I can almost picture Shulk like flying across the room while doing that <laughs> I since these things are supposed to be machines, I kind of wish Monado Buster had, like, increased power against them. Huh. They're not Mechon, per se, no, but things that are effective against Mechon should be effective against machines in general, because the Monado symbol that allows him to be effective against Mechon 
is the word for machine. Huh. So, technically speaking, something that is a machine should be weak to the Monado's anti-machine mode. Hmm. I put Ricky in the party because I figured he would have the most out of out of our party members he would be one of the ones that has the most vested interest in wanting to help save Melia. Right. Since, um... Quest complete! Collection quest four. I want to remind people that if I had played this game the way I normally play it, I would not be... These things would not be attacking me. Huh. I would just be passing by everything. Wow. Because I'd be so overleveled. Do you enjoy playing the game that way? <laughs> uh, well, when I first played the game, I was severely underleveled throughout most of it because I rushed through everything. Oh, okay. So, it felt good once, but it eventually got to the point where I was like, uh... I didn't try expert mode when I first played this version because I didn't know how it worked. It was one of those things where I thought it was just going to turn up the difficulty rather than, like, bank my XP. Right. <laughs> uh, why are you focused on me? <laughs> I, I I just keep thinking back to that scene with All Might and the New Moon. Keep putting <laughs> Ricky into it. It's like those aren't just random punches either. They're targeted, and each one of them is now now behave. <laughs> it's more than one hundred percent of his power. Well, I am very spiking this a lot, yikes. Yeah. Did I, I'm not even trying. Did I turn it up or down? I can't tell. I don't know. I mean, when we're talking like this, it's fine, but whenever I get any bit excited, it starts spiking. When Tayo gets so excited, it's going to burst! <laughs> yeah. It sounded like you were going into one of your... I don't know, one of your voices. <laughs> like it sounded like you were going to... Miss. Ricky's so excited it's going to burst! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Alright, Andas, let's go. Ready, steady, chain attack time. Ready, steady, you're, chain... You're in the light, Shulk! You've gone to heaven! You know... By the way, can I, can I just mention the fact that I've learned throughout the week that, uh, you, you know how we often seem to think that radioactive stuff glows green? Well, it doesn't. <laughs> it glows blue. Wow. Well. Shulk should check himself for cancer. Let's not lose our heads, though. <laughs> Go down. Spiral lamp and the spiral. 
You know what? <laughs> <laughs> that saves time. Rhyme time? Not now, Ryan. <laughs> no, no. Ryan, your Rhyme time privileges have been revoked. Ever since you pressed that damn button. You'll be forgiven once we get out of here, but for now, I'm still mad. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, could you imagine if they arrive and Millie is dead? And it's like, if only we had been a few minutes earlier! <laughs> oh man, I'm really sparking it, yikes. Okay, I think that is turning it I'll down. I'll do a test. Earlier! Yeah, that, that that's, turned That's it. better. That's better. It didn't spike it like that. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm just letting the auto-attack yeah, do it. Auto-attack, you got this. I believe in you. Except when it comes to Sharla removing the heat from her gun, I believe in you. Oh, that... She, she only builds up heat when she uses arts. Right, right, right. Ah, there's the Andos antenna that I need from them. Always doing side quests. Even when you're in a damn place that's basically kind of not much to explore. <laughs> you're even doing side quests when you're in a bunch of hallways. Does this place count as a dungeon? I feel like it should count as a dungeon compared to the other places I've been to. It's like... Even, even doing side quests... Side quests when you side... Even doing side quests when you're in a bunch of hallways, Final Fantasy XIII, that's all I know how to do for several hours. <laughs> oh, this place is less linear than Final Fantasy XIII. Yeah, it is. What were they thinking? Freaking Final Fantasy let you <laughs> have so much freedom. Early on. Hey, look, it's a... Uh... Did it, though. <laughs> well, yeah, did it. Oh, uh, because, you know, you start at the town of the castle, and the only other place you can go is the first dungeon, where it's very, very small, and it's a straight shot to the boss, and then the bridge opens up, and, uh... <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna turn the game. Maybe on. it just seemed like it gave you more freedom. And then you got the boat, and it opened up a few more places that you could get. It it sort of funnels you early on, and then it gives you more freedom. That is a big ball of something. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> Radioactive waste! It's not attacking us, at least. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! It's not gonna attack you because that thing is gonna attack you. Another defense mechanism. And I guess we're looking at the tomb's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. <laughs> it just takes out a vinyl record. <laughs> there, that's done. <laughs> oh wow, that is really not balanced now. What? Okay, that's better. Hello. Uh, well, uh, this battle uh, this battle seems to be going very well. Uh, why can't I use chain attacks? There you go.
<laughs> Keep some anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. <laughs> somebody mean Ryan! <laughs> Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. Let's stop standing around and talking then. Let's go. Yes, we should be pulling a last story and talking while walking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of all the times. We need to keep interrupting the strategy guys as they're trying to provide entertaining commentary. <laughs> Every fucking second we'll interrupt that. <laughs> They have entertaining commentary? Yeah. This Win! Is, this is news to hear about. <laughs> Macro passion. Macro passion. Now, it's not micro passion. It's macro passion. Yeah, I was going to say, it seemed a little bit light on the recording. Yeah, but it's almost like the more I turn it up, the more unbalanced the... Uh, How about now? How about yeah, that looks pretty good. That's that looks good. Hello. Okay, we should keep it on that setting. It's it's nice and balanced while you know, it's it's nice to actually see sound waves when I'm talking. That can fix that problem. There we go. <laughs> Just push the mic slip. Let's powering up. Let's go. Let's power up. That guy. <laughs> I always got a buddy. He's like, who else wants some? Uh, I, I, I would like some. Can I have some? <laughs> That's because I used the lore to lure him over. He, he was lured by the promise of getting some. Because he wanted some! You know, that Shaker Edge animation could have made for a really good, uh... That could have made for a really good Smash Attack and Smash Brother. Am I turning? Why does it feel quiet? It always looks quiet! When I'm talking what? loud, it should be... Oh, okay, there we go. That's better. That is too much. J try pulling it... Oh, it's easier to monitor when it's... Uh... Yeah, okay. Hello. What's up? Why does gain affect whether or not it it's getting more from the right or the left? I'm trying to like equal it out. That's uh yeah, gain doesn't usually work like that. That, that is weird. If anything, that should be a separate setting, and if anything, that shouldn't be a thing you could do at all. Okay, well, I think I think I balanced it yeah. while also getting good volume. There we go. That looks pretty good. Sorry that took so fucking long. It's well, just, you can cut that, that out. All right, here that'd we go. be a little hard to cut out, honestly. <laughs> it's all throughout. It's like all throughout the video, we're fucking with those settings. Well, I mean, that time it was pretty, the characters were kind of just standing around. <laughs> uh. I think I'll leave it. I think I'll just leave it in. Okay, well at least it's, yeah, it's picking up when we're barely talking at all. Yeah, and it's, and I can see with the audio waves, it's not like, going too much to okay, the right or the cool. left. cool, microphone, stay! Stay! <laughs> Get like a piece of duct tape and just... Freaking, st just, just stay, where we, where we put you... 
All you're used for is us in this room. You don't need to change your game ever once we get it right. But yeah, that that um move that Shulk does where he like wind where he like does that spin and winds up holding the Monado over his head and then bringing it down. That would have made a great smash animation, like for doing a smash attack, where you know the, you charge the smash attack with him in that. You see that pose right there yeah. where he's holding it. Uh -huh. Imagine him just holding that as he charges a smash attack, and then brings down the Monado with a lot more force. What did we get instead? <laughs> a variation of this, but he... Because oh, that's right, yeah. Where he opens it, and then it goes... Because for whatever reason in Smash Brothers, he's not just always holding the Monado. I don't know why. Unlike in the, unlike in his own game where he's married to the damn thing, it's like even when I'm swimming, I can't let go of you, my precious. <laughs> yeah, that should have been his like. That should have been at least one of his smashes. Except he does that. <laughs> yeah. Even even if he like often has it put away and then like does a swing and then puts it back away again, the way he does that turn, you could still like animate that while he gra while he's grabbing it. Mm-hmm. Tasty sausage. I got me some tasty sausage. Oruga Rufus. This one's mine, cause I'm Brian, and it's gonna be my time. You know. Speaking about uh, characters that we like being in Smash, uh, and it's just, I can't exactly put my finger on it. I probably have to really look into all the attacks and stuff, but... Are you, are you talking about characters that you want it in Smash, but they don't play exactly the way you want? Yes, and here's the, but here's the weird thing, like, you could be like, oh, Shulk should have had this attack or this animation would have worked better here, but for me... It's just, it's more like, it's not exactly the attacks, it's more like the feel of the character. And it's Diddy Kong. And I, I'm happy they put him in, and he, he plays fairly well, but there's something about the way he feels that just, I don't know. Well, didn't I also mention in a, yeah, I also mentioned in the previous episode that I don't like the fact that Shulk's three-hit jab combo is like punch-punch or is like punch kick Monado for some reason. Yeah, but the thing is about Diddy Kong is I couldn't tell you what to change. Like, I I can't even tell you exactly what it is what it is about him that 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 annoys you. Yeah, it, it's he should be like one of my favorite characters to play as, but he's not, and I don't know why. <laughs> is they, it something to do with the character? directly or is it something to do more with your personal tastes it's like it's like it's it's just weird because they gave him all the attacks that i would expect of he's got the cartwheel he's got his pistols he's, he's got the jetpack it's like everything that i would want from a diddy kong character is here but it's something about the way he plays that just feels off to me it's like, and I don't, like I said, I can't tell you what it is. It's a mystery to me. Like, I can, I can tell you exactly my issues with Shulk and Samus. Yeah. Two characters I play as. Yeah. But I still like playing as them, it's just, I don't know. Maybe it was just, um... My expectations were too high or something, I don't know. Like, that's one of my favorite characters! And it's like... I don't know what I was expecting. 
It gave me everything I could have wanted. I don't know. I, I love how Banjo -Kazoo and Kazooie play, though. They're they're perfect. <laughs> Sora is also pretty much perfect. Wait, there's something I would change with Sora. I think you would want Strike Raid, but Strike Raid, but at the same time, I wouldn't know where to put it. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it could replace magic. Yeah, I'd have to replace the whole magic thing, huh? Which, but magic is. <laughs> Melia, half Holmes. That thing. That's another Telethia. Melia. So. A Telethia in the tomb. Why should you care when you're about to meet your death? Yes. menu. Hey, look who's here all of a sudden. And she's got her mask. It's Mask Melia. <laughs> it's Meskelia. Notice how Shulk is bouncing off of Tyrea there. Oh, yeah. You two focus on that. I'll get this one. Oh, I should have. Oh, show. focus on you two focus on the Telethia Melia you focus on the Hyentia uh guys aww Ricky get lonely without you Looks like it's gonna take a while. Yeah. Get up, Ricky. As long as I have Summon Aqua going on, everyone within range has a uh, auto heal. Nice. Help me! Guys! Guys! I fell down and I can't get up! I ran about way to do that, Sean, but okay! <laughs> Shulk, you help your allies like Zale opens doors. <laughs> the wrong way? <laughs> Good old chain attack. <laughs> I'm just imagining Shulk being like, Guys, let's do a chain attack! And they all bring out chains and start beating her up with chains. Good job! Good chain attack, guys! Magnificent! 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 
Ah, take on it. Damn it. Okay, equipment check. Right, change equipment. Oh. Um. <laughs> Nobody say anything. <laughs> I 
think she has the best stuff that she can wear. Well, more or less, um, she can't wear middle equipment, middle armor. Okay, let's try this again. I will not let the throne be sullied! Let's focus our efforts! Very well, gotcha! But yeah, I think we're taking less damage now. Yeah, I was wondering what was going on, because you were like losing all your health in record time. Help! What the fuck? Take my power and eliminate them! Yeah, I'm not quitting yet! Your kind have no need of such power! I feel the ether building within me! This actually allows me to survive till I can use a healing art. Huh. And Melia still dies. Damn it! It's because Melia can't equip anything better than what she already has. Uh. She doesn't have skills to do that. What the? Holy shit! That was insane! When you're toppled, you have no defense. <laughs> Having both Shulk and Sharla have better armor, though, so they can survive better. Oh, fuck off! Oh, yeah, beat us while we're down. Kick us while we're down. <laughs> Spiral kick us while we're down. Oh no. Why is this so hard? It's because Shulk is the best counter for a Telethia, but is useless against Terea. Uh, damn it, Terea! Get the fuck out of here! Let's give it our all. My rifle's getting hot. Get up, Melly. Yeah, she's gonna need the help. <laughs> Once this Telethia is done, this should be a lot easier, even if Shulk is basically useless against Terea. Right. Oh, 
Ah, damn it! Fuck off with that move! I hate that move! That move is basically just, she has free reign to pick us off now. Oh, come on! I ain't too worried about Charla being hit with that. It's not going to do shit. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't care about the future vision warnings because it's like, oh, you're you're going to do like a tiny little bit of damage and nothing. Like, why even waste resources? You can, I'll just let the character that's being targeted tank it. <laughs> This is a fight where I wish this game let me switch the character I'm playing as. Huh. Where I can be like, oh, okay, uh, let me, let me play a Shulk to... Okay, there we go! Only one enemy to fight. I did a whole two damage! Like your uh, what's his name from from uh? uh hold on. I I don't even know what you're referring to. Uh. Spectro. I don't know what my brain was Probably. like. My brain, yeah, but my brain was like, say Psychonauts. Say it's not Psychonauts, brain. What are you thinking? It's not Psychonauts. <laughs> Why were you thinking Psychonauts of all? Yes, do the Rollin, yeah. Actually, Rollin can do. Can get up higher than that. Oh. Get up! You expect me to do damage? You expect Shulk to do the damage here? Have my sign of the beast attack. Because Charlotte's no longer toppled, it only does three thirty-three damage. <laughs> Shulk's basically like heck, heck, heck. <laughs> Shulk is like how we were at the beginning of the game against Mechon. Oh yeah. Which is what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Shulk is just cheerleader right now. Here. Give her a speed buff so that she can more likely dodge attacks. The Shulk can still con contribute to light healing Melia and getting up the party gauge. Yeah. Oh, and um, providing Monado shields when needed. Yeah. Uh, really, you don't have any summons right now? Hmm. Uh, oh, I didn't notice the... I was shrugging with my hand, and I didn't have my hand on the controller, and then I noticed the frickin' 
fee I was not expecting to get one of those. <laughs> Oh, don't run away, I'm trying to hit you. Finally! It's not over! Telethia! Kill as many of them as you can! Uh, we beat that thing a while ago. Keep clear! The Telethia is destroying itself! What? <sighs> Almost bought it. It was on sale. <laughs> Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk. Whoever that was, is gone. So... they escaped. Shulk. Everyone. I thank you. You saved me. No thanks to Ryan. <laughs> Ricky, smiley, smiley! Millie, all safe! All thanks to Hero Porn! That's not how I remember it, Cheeseball. <laughs> <laughs> the time that you were in the party, we kept dying. <laughs> and that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. Dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The Order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation, the Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Callion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child. I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Harm's bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. You see, Melly is like, but sh if it weren't for Shulkin and his friends, I would. Oh, Ricky and friends help save Melly. Ricky, very happy. We're all relieved, but something's still bothering me. What is it? Why was Melia chosen as the Crown Princess? Shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend? And her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Callion is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Callion go along with this? It's a mystery. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! It's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly.
Okay, so, like, Melia was having doubts or whatever because, like, the whole trial of the tomb is she's supposed to go in alone and not have any help, but Shulk and friends helped her, and if it wasn't for them, they'd, she'd be dead, and she's so she kind of doesn't feel worthy and all that, but it's like you've technically already completed the trial, an assassin jumping you at the end is not part of the trial. Yeah. At least I don't think that's supposed to be part of the trial. Yeah, I doubt that's part of the trial. So you technically did what was required of you by yourself, as you were supposed to. Shulk and friends jumped in after to save your ass. Uh -huh. To save your wing-headed ass. Your wing-headed ass! Let's get the story stuff out of the way so we can, uh... Do they all have those weird droopy ears, or is that just the king? Uh, some of the more pure-blooded ones do. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It's mostly hair covering it. <laughs> it's got more normal-looking ears. It would, if it were like the king's, it would not be covered by the hair. Yeah. Yes. Please forgive me for keeping you. Only Shulk may proceed beyond this point. Understood. Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mekon. Yes. The Mekon devastated our homes, and we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Maconis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Homs? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Machna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself. And now, they disturb the Aether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. But why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, when the Aether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs, and heed the sword's return. Trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. All life born on Bionis affects the Aether. The Mekon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mekon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the High Entia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. Correct. 
Which is why the Mekong's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mekong. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. Shulk, allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. The Telethia are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea? Yes. And there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Well, I can just choose not to see it. <laughs> One month ago. Can this be true? It will happen soon. I saw Melia. She was fighting a battle against a Mekon with a strange group of arms. Yes. That sword, could it be the... Could it possibly? And that location, was it... The vision is a sign. By your will, it can be changed. Hmm. For now, we must consider all things. Everything. The capital. And the lives of our people depend on it. Wow! Take a look at that! A high end to your air show! Bird people fly higher than up on birds! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They've got some neat tricks. Shook! I think that's Melia up there. By the authority of our divine ancestors, I, Melia Antiqua, 
am honored to accept the responsibility of becoming your next benevolent ruler. Should I be deemed unworthy of this calling, or fail to protect the ancestors or the Bionis, I promise here and now to throw myself on the mercy of you, the people. Word. <laughs> I am excited. Fireworks! Fire bros. Most majestic. That fragile girl in the forest is a distant memory. But which one is the real Melia? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. No, it's not like that. They're one and the same girl. I think. I think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> And what did you see, Alvis? Oh, it's you. Don't play games. No need to be angry. I only wanted to analyze the boy. Which was the point, no? Hmm. I did not interfere with your ministerial affairs. In fact, you should be thanking me. I wonder if he feels the same. We have all the information we need. We know that such a Telethia cannot hurt them. You see? Nothing can befall him before he sees his dream fulfilled. He'll just keep respawning again and again, right <laughs> outside the room, and <laughs> keep trying. Yeah. Grand spanking you! Nothing like an ether change and a new paint job. <laughs> we don't need her. Look at me. Look at me, goody two-shoes. Let's just see if you hold back the screams when his blade gets a taste of you. Where did Goody Two Shoes even come from? Yeah. <laughs> I love a warm welcome. Let's settle this machine to machine. Like, uh, as opposed to what? A batty one shoe? <laughs> Seems like we're getting closer to catching up with Shulk's vision. <laughs> So they've got a new crown princess. Three cheers for Melia. Right, but we're still no closer to that murdering-faced Mechon. Once we reach Prison Island, we'll get our chance. I've seen us there. It must be true. Shulk, man. Maybe we can still persuade Big Wings. <laughs> Melia's crown princess now. I reckon the Emperor might change his mind. Maybe. Rhine, the Emperor's request was clear. Give him time. There's more to this island than we know. Things are at play here that reach beyond our understanding. Dundon right. Ricky and friends visit Melly now. Hey, the adults are talking, Pops. Ricky want to see Melly. Ricky think Melly's sad too. She might like the distraction. All those stiff ceremonial duties. You decide, Shulk. Ricky say yes! Flappy flap. Flappy flap flap. <laughs> Get it. Oh. Something is irritating my nose. Oh, I hate when that happens. Need tissue? Oh. Right now, 
napkin might actually be better because the rough surface can help scratch the nose. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh. Sometimes when my nose is really itchy, I prefer using like napkins or paper towels to blow my nose. And that way, like, while I'm wiping, I press it real hard against the nose and it, like, scratches the itching feeling. Oh, yeah. Something I can't do with a tissue. We beat that boss fight in a Lego Batman first try. Yeah! <laughs> That was the first time I died in a boss fight in this game. Yeah. Recording wise, I mean. Yeah. Multiple times. <laughs> you came to see me. Ricky's friend, Millie! Oh, Millie look amazing before. Oh, Ricky's so proud. <laughs> really? It all happened so fast. What a stunning garden. The arrangements, the fountain. When the colony is up and running, can I steal some ideas? My late mother adored this place. Late? Mother, but I thought your mum was... Her Highness, the First Consort, is not my birth mother. Members of the Imperial family must take two wives, one Homs, one High Entia. My mother is the Second Consort. I am half Homs, half High Entia. I am half Entia. <laughs> Melia. Melly live here? Yes, Ricky. Since I was young, I cannot walk outside as you see me now, so this garden gives me much relief. What's wrong with how you look? Who cares if you're half homs? You'll always be you. Their way of thinking differs from ours. Different ways. Different morals. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> so that's why you wear a mask in public? Yes. Shulk, in less than an hour there will be a banquet in the palace. I would like you all to come. Oh, Ricky's so hungry, he could even eat Smilly or Luca. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty to eat. Finally, some decent grub. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. What's on the menu? What about second breakfast? Any high end your specials? Do not embarrass me at this dinner. <laughs> Expectations lead to disappointment. We are talking about Ryan here. <laughs> what? That's the last time I sit next to you, then. <laughs> I have much to prepare. I will have someone call for you later. We can't wait. Is there something wrong? No. You are a funny one. Whoa, vision. Ah! Emperor! It can't be. Shulk! It's the Emperor. Father! Another vision! Shulk, what did you see? On that tower, on Prison Island. <gasps> what does the siren mean? Mekon, they're coming! Slow. 
Report! Yes, sire. We received a report from our south station. Macon are approaching. Impossible! Kellyan, your sister's time has come. Your Majesty. Can't walk in this stiff robe. <laughs> there is only one course of action left. We will not waver from our destinies. Father! Kallion, take charge of the capital's defenses. I will go to Prison Island. Tell me, what happens to my father? He... It follows my last vision. We're on Prison Island. Metal Face and your father are... Prison Island? Why would father go there? No! I must go to the palace. I must stop him. I will go to the audience chamber. Wait, Melia. We're coming too. Look who's back. Back again. <laughs> Melly's back. <laughs> Tell a friend! You're up on Dizzy. I want Melly to use medium equipment. She has to get it through skill links. Oh, for fuck's sake. Same with Hitopon. <laughs> Now I can actually give Melia better equipment. And now I can actually change her head equipment. Ooh. But first, let's give her... Glasses take one, glasses take two. Glasses take one, glasses take two, <laughs> glasses take one. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what, I ain't doing this for uh, personal reasons or anything? No, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> that, that'd be silly. Why, why would I, why would I do that? I just keep thinking back to that one, that teacher character from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> and Spoonie's reaction to her, is that my teacher? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I never even changed Ricky's weapon. Uh, what weapon should Ricky get? Higher max auto attack, lower minimum auto attack. He has some cool looking weapons. <laughs> that one makes me laugh. <laughs> Kermit the Frog here, hanging out with the Hero Pun. <laughs> now, now, behave! <laughs> it isn't easy being green. <laughs> Tell Hiropon all about it. <laughs> Q 
queen frog is that weapon. <laughs> has got some weapons that I haven't, uh... Take a look. Why are there so many songs about ether and what's on the other side? Yeah, I like Melia this way. Yeah. Shut up. Okay, I had my fun. <laughs> Fozzie, it's time to light the lights. You're not potting that Fozzie. <laughs> Which is Fonzie? Can you not pot eat it? <laughs> hey. Welcome. Thank you so much for carrying out... The mission in our place. I cannot thank you enough. I had proper talk with Lar Shen since we last spoke. I told him how you were taking care of the mission for us. He finally understood how much trouble he's been causing. He even acknowledged that he had been pushing himself too hard. It's all thanks to you fine people. I hope I was of some help. Yay, Melly! Was big help, even though she wasn't. There. I was gonna say you weren't even a part of this side quest, Belly. This is for all your troubles taken. Quest complete. I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, why is she taking the credit? Sh she wasn't here. <laughs> yeah, that that Tyrea fight made me realize. Oh, my equipment is out of date. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's a that's a problem with using appearance gear. Yeah. I don't think about my equipment as much. Brother! Where is father? Melia. The Imperial Staff, it's... So father has gone. I... Callian! The Emperor has proceeded to the island, alone. For the sake of the Empire. Why did you let him go alone? Father! His Majesty is fully aware. Alvis. Of what will happen to him. And what he must do before then. You saw something. I did. During our ancient divination ritual. If he knows, then why? Because he is the ruler of the Imperial family and all the High Entia. We must respect his decision above all else. But that doesn't mean... Trust him, Shulk. His fate was decided long ago. No! Shilk, we're going. But Dunban... Respect? Destiny? We don't need rules to tell us when to save the people we care for. You too, Melia. Don't give up on him. The Emperor, your father, is going to die. Dunban! There's only one thing to do. Are you with me? Of course. But you can't. We are Homs. Do what you must. But your laws don't concern us. My apologies, Dunban. No apologies needed. So, Melia, what's it to be? 
We go to Prison Island. Your laws don't concern us. We're Homs. We have diplomatic immunity. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> got di I got diplomatic immunity. Uh, immunity. So, Hammer, you can't sue. Can't touch this. <laughs> Goes up to a sexy woman. Except for you. You can touch this. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that, Melia? <laughs> Splash, I'm all dry. <laughs> Splash, I hit. I'm on land. I'm on. I'm on the floor. Let's go. <laughs> that look weird. I can't heart this view to yet now. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I have not, like, done any shopping since I've been here. Oh yeah, it's just been side quest this and side quest that and main story cinematic over here and where's the shopping? <laughs> Are you that... Take a look, he's got some books! <laughs> nice. Shadow. Wait, wasn't that a move, move that Saran had? Uh... Yes, um, the, the same move name, different effects. <laughs> Thank you, please come again. So I remember Saran using that loads of times. <laughs> Shadow Stitch. Ether from the ground restricts movement of enemies in range. This is a spell of Shadow Stitch that just makes it so that enemies can't, like, move around. Saren would jump up onto somebody's head and cause paralysis. Yeah. Shulk needs a lot less AP to level up his arts than other characters. That's because these all require insane amounts of AP. Wow. It balances out. I think. <laughs> Bitey. Bitey! <laughs> you have Lurgy. <laughs> now, now, behave! Lots of behave. <laughs> Everybody behave. Oh, I can't use quick travel right no, now. No, quick travel right now. Which means if I want to turn in this quest, I have to do it the old-fashioned way. Run to it! Run to it, Melia! Run! Run to the quest that you definitely completed. Definitely one of the quests you completed, Melia. Wait, why is... Why is it telling me to go up the... Oh, that's that's the exit for... Okay, it's not telling me to go. It's, it's saying, no, the way you're supposed to go is back that way. What quest? Gotta turn in the quest. Hiroham! When Nello passed out, Tealin helped Nello. 
Nello must thank him sometime. Nello would still be lying there otherwise. <laughs> Thanks, Zeus. Nello knew no medicine was common. She she and Don't worry. It was nothing. No, can say thanks. Can say thanks enough. Uh, how about a drink to celebrate? No, my friend is not like a little pup. Oh no, that hurt. No, don't feel so good. Oh God. <laughs> One of Melia's arts that she hasn't learned yet, at least I don't think she has, she has an art called Starlight Kick, which if she uses after Spear Break basically guarantees a topple on enemies. Huh. If she had that during the previous boss fight, she could have kept Tyrea in check by herself. Huh. Blech. Cool lemon. <laughs> cool lemon. When life gives you cool lemons, make hot lemon. <laughs> I mean, um, cool lemonade. <laughs> That'd be interesting. It's like, oh. Boiling out here. Man, I could really use a drink. Oh, good, a lemonade stand. Here, sir, have some boiling hot lemonade. Wait, what? <laughs> right off the kettle. What the fuck? It's guaranteed to scar your tongue going down. What the hell? What is this bizarro world? <laughs> This fly infestation is beginning to bug me! <laughs> Ooh, shooting stars. Unmanned craft built by ancient High Entia. Is it too much to hope this is the last of them? Hey. That voice is the same actor that played the outsider from the last story. Huh. Ginormous things at 12 o'clock! <laughs> Ancient creatures that were sealed within Prison Island. They have us in their sights. They must be our target's pets. Perhaps. Let's see how they like this! Well, lovely weather. <laughs> Prison Island is just ahead. Do we need to use the transporter? We do. But first, we must unlock the seals. Seals? We need to unlock two seals to reach Prison Island. Then, a door will appear before us, showing the way. Got it. Move, everyone. I have side quests on the islands that the seals are on. Wow. Oh, hey, look, uh, side quest thing? 
Where is the side quest thing? Ah, there it is. Ah, more pink asparagus. Gold Bardock? Gold Bardock. <laughs> it sounds like a, a fighter in a Dragon Ball game. You've unlocked Gold Bardock! <laughs> So, Super Saiyan Bardock? <laughs> no, that's Super Saiyan Bardock. This is Gold Bardock. It's two different forms. Of course it is. For <laughs> This represents no problem You have been mind boosted. Freaking Super Saiyans. That's, uh. I mean, not that I don't appreciate Super Saiyans, but I feel like that's another thing that Oda excels at more than Toriyama. Super forms? Yeah. <laughs> Anywho. I think I'm gonna call it a ba Oh. This is the transporter that was broke before that I had to do that one story quest for the guy to fix. Oh yeah. Covering Reef 7. So I think I'm I think I'm gonna just call it here. Okay. Yeah, you well you've more than enough made up for that little boss fight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time for more Zero Chronicles! Hero Pond Dance. <laughs> Toodles. Hi ho, everyone! Oh, I'm getting dizzy, Ricky! <laughs> I feel Shulk, you're next! <laughs> Melia, why are you feeling me? <laughs> you got a problem with that microphone? Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like dragonflies down bad? You like dragonfly? I'm just imagining, like, this. Like... Oh, holy shit! I skipped an affinity level with him. Oh well, yeah, it's Ganon. <laughs> it's Ball Ganon. We're in the wrong universe. <laughs> they, they have no chance, but they'll try. <laughs> I'm gonna shadow stitch you, which does not involve Melia jumping up into the <laughs> ceiling and coming down. That's a completely different shadow stitch from a completely different game. <laughs> <laughs> Chest! <laughs>